Crypto gaming had the largest pumps of any narrative in 2021. That was nothing. Back then, the game sucked. But this run, we have AAA crypto games, and we have gaming projects tapping into AI and deep into. These pumps are gonna make 2021 look tiny. So today, I'm gonna to show you some of the top upcoming crypto gaming alts. But before we get started, let me remind you that this is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. This video is not intended for residents of the United Kingdom, as UK laws say I'm not permitted to talk about crypto with you. If you're not in the UK, let's get started. Before we discuss the upcoming projects, there's one thing you need to know. The best alts are multi-narrative. What does that mean? Well, there are a lot of hot narratives right now. Gaming, AI, Deepin, ZK, just to name a few. And if a project fits into one of those narratives, great, that's awesome. But what about a project that is gaming, AI, and deep in. That's a multi-narrative project. It has so much pump ability because it attracts buyers from multiple narratives. Today I'm sharing upcoming crypto gaming gems and the last project I share will be a multi-narrative super gem. But let's kick things off with an awesome upcoming mobile game. Why mobile? Many people don't know that mobile gaming makes more money than any other platform. Mobile gaming accounts for 49% of all gaming revenue, which is almost as much as PC and console combined. Revenue generally means a crypto's price will pump. And this is because investors can put more money back into the ecosystem. So I'm always on the lookout for new mobile games since they're revenue generating machines. And I have another one for you guys that I've been playing for a little while now. And that is Cross the Ages. This is a trading card game that brings out some new gameplay mechanics which sets it apart from other card battlers. They have an open dynamic board, an extensive element system and loads of different card interactions. What's important here is that this isn't just another Hearthstone clone. We don't need any more of those. There is actually quite a lot of depth to the gameplay which opens up a lot of viable strategies. That's important because it means there is a high replayability factor. Replayability and retention rates are hugely important for mobile games. Any mobile games that succeed in these will do well. You can play Cross the Ages on Androids and iPhones or your PC. With over 400,000 downloads and over 17,000 daily active users, this game has a healthy player base. Now, this isn't the only reason I'm hyped for this game. They also have some serious pedigree behind them. Square Enix, Ubisoft and Animoca Brands are all partnered with Cross the Ages. And there is a huge collaboration event between Cross the Ages and Watch Dogs. If you haven't heard of Watch Dogs, I'd be incredibly surprised. This is one of Ubisoft's best games, in my opinion. A franchise worth hundreds of millions and they've partnered with Cross the Ages to bring Watch Dogs cards in-game. I think this is one of if not the biggest crossover event I've seen in crypto yet. So I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. Now, you don't have to take any of my word for what I've talked about. In fact, you shouldn't. You can literally download it on your phone and try the game for yourself. Ultimately, that is the best way to scope out a gaming project. The token is projected to be released in quarter two of this year, so you have plenty of time to try it out. Who knows, maybe you'll meet me in the PVP. I think the biggest crypto game releasing this year could be this next project, Off The Grid. They are working with some of the biggest gaming streamers. If you aren't a gamer, I'll break it down. Game streamers have millions of fans. Whenever a streamer plays a game, hundreds of thousands of those fans buy that game to play it too. They have huge streamers including Dr Disrespect, so this game will have hundreds of thousands of players. Also, Neil Blomkamp helped create Off The Grid's universe. He's a huge Hollywood director who created Elysium, District 9 and Gran Turismo. These guys have been building for years and have some of the best experience you could ask for. The team behind Godzilla, the creator of Off The Grid, built Warface. This is one of the best MMO shooters around, period. So I have a lot of faith in this team. Off the Grid is a free-to-play battle royale game. This mode is arguably one of the best for replayability right now. It's found success on console, PC and mobile, so I'm very interested in a crypto battle royale game. Off the Grid will have a 60-hour PvE campaign alongside a bunch of maps where 150 players can battle to come out on top. 
There are over 300 weapon combinations with loads of customization open to players, so you'll be able to craft the perfect weapon. But one of the coolest things I've seen with Off The Grid are the cyber limbs. There are over 30 different limbs in the game which you can find dotted around the map. Or, if you prefer, you can rip those legs and arms off the degens you kill in the game. Hell yes. That sounds like the right level of degen for me. Each limb does something different, so each game will have a different feel to it. I genuinely think that we're overdue a decent FPS crypto game. Off the Grid could be the first one we see, so I'm watching it very closely. Release will be in 2024, but follow their socials to stay up to date with a more specific launch date. Up next, we have a project that is providing Web3 game distribution. Elixir Games. Digital game distribution is an essential part of the gaming market nowadays. Physical games don't really exist anymore, and stores like Steam and Epic Games generate huge amounts of revenue. A Web3 game distribution platform is a no-brainer, if you believe in the Web3 gaming space, which, well, I'm obviously bullish on. It's still a young space, but the amount of interest from Web2 companies and newer Web3 developers it's like a flashing sign you can't ignore. Elixir Games has the biggest offering of Web3 games today. Their collection of games is huge because they are multi-chain. Solana, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, BNB, just to name a few, with more on the way. Their focus is primarily on indie games, which, if you're a gamer, you know taps into the heart and soul of what the gaming space is all about building a game from the ground up that isn't plagued by some suits in an office pushing microtransactions. They also have partnerships with Square Enix and GameStop, some big names in gaming that can offer a huge amount of experience, knowledge and brand awareness. As always, it's way better for your research to try out the project for yourself. Elixir's platform has been around for some time now and you can see what games they have to offer. You can buy games with normal currency or choose from over 100 cryptos. Their token will be coming out later this year, so follow their socials so you don't miss out. All right. I've saved the best for last, guys, and believe me, this is a project that is hitting the trifecta of AI, gaming, and deepin. These three narratives are going to be big this bull run, and a project that provides infrastructure is making a strong play. They make other projects reliant on them to operate. That's hard to replace, and it's why infrastructure projects are always a good play in your crypto portfolio. Then add on top that this project is also developing their own games. Well, it's no surprise that I'm hyped for a project that is partnering with deep in projects, gaming projects, and AI projects. Gaming is said to be one of the strong players in these three sectors. Incubated by CoinMarketCap, they primarily focus on providing gaming companies with the infrastructure they need from their huge network of GPUs, but they are active in AI as well. More importantly, this isn't a crypto startup. Gaming is a well-established company, some of you might recognize them from their Dota 2 team, which is one of the best in the world. One thing to note with gaming is that it's launching with a low circulating supply, which means price will likely push hard in the early days. You should factor that into any potential buys and or sells you make with gaming. Their connections in the industry are some of the best I've seen, and their list of partners barely fits on the screen. They're also innovating with cross-game cosmetics. They've just completed proof of concepts for this idea. Imagine it, you're playing on GTA 5 and you have a skin you've been using on there. You then switch over to playing on Rust or Minecraft and you can use the same skin in either of the games. Like I said, this is early days, but the proof of concept has been a success. This idea in and of itself isn't necessarily groundbreaking, but it's the innovation that makes me bullish. Gaming is involved in cloud computing, game distribution, incubation, esports, AI infrastructure, and they're making leaps in all of these areas. Teams that can deliver are the teams you want to back. Gaming looks to be one of the rare projects that's firing on all cylinders. If you want me to do a full breakdown of this project, let me know in the comments below. They are conducting an airdrop campaign as we speak, so get farming while you still have the chance. They have announced their GMRX token releasing on Bybit on March 26th, with more listings by the time this video comes out. But there you have it guys, four upcoming gaming projects that I'm watching very closely. These cover all the key areas within the gaming sector. Mobile, PC, console, distribution, deep in, and AI. 
I'm bullish on Web3 Gaming, so for me, hitting these different verticals is a no-brainer. If you want to know more about which AI projects I'm watching, then check out my recent breakdown of some of the biggest AI projects coming this year. These could be game changers for you in the bull run. But until next time, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.